Ronnie the limo driver, he appeared in, I didn't, this, he told me he was going to Las Vegas. I didn't realize he appeared at something called the Stripper Awards. Yes. <laughs> He's he become, said it went really well. He's become like a coxman, Ronnie the limo driver. Like every time, like I even He's saw. He's Mr. Stripper. I saw pictures of him at Will's wedding. Wedding, and yeah. Will, Will, who works with us here, got uh, married over the weekend, like ten hours away, and because that's good, and because uh, that's convenient. But anyway, like people were telling me, they, they left on Thursday night, didn't return till Saturday. They're in hotels. They're you know, it's like it's like it's like right. He, it was a whole expedition. It was a coronation. It wasn't even a wedding. So, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah I, I'll, tra- I'll travel to Alaska to go see Will get married. Yeah, I tell you, I love Will, but that does deter you from going. I would have gone if he got married here, but I, I mean. Because uh, I thought about my situation. If it was something I could stop in real quick, say hi, you know, but if I'm going. You got to stay. Yeah, and I got to stay around the drinking and everything. But There's Will and his bride. Oh, what a great picture. Oh, there you go. She's really, uh, Will she's really nice, as girl. She's very pretty. Will should have shaved for the wedding. Yeah, but anyway, he didn't shave. Look at, Look him. at him. Oh, okay. my God. Yeah. Will, come on. Even I would have shaved. And Will's dad does this weird thing. He, he wears a kilt. Do I they guess. have pictures of that? Yeah, I saw it. It's it's weird. <laughs> Your dad wearing that kilt. It's got to be embarrassing, oh, right? Geez. No, there great. he is. There he is, dancing. <laughs> I love it. Kilt. He, not only was he not the only guy at the wedding with a kilt, I think that he might have switched kilts from the ceremony to the party. You mean did there you, was a costume change? Did your dad do a costume change? He's like a bride. He did not change kilts. But, uh, there's another <laughs> uh, son, I'm going to go change my dress. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know, like, I know a kilt is supposedly not women's clothing, but you know what? It, it looks just, like just it. looks like a guy in a dress. Yeah. I mean, no, it looks it's awesome. Dress. Look at him. Well, that's the that's thing. Classy, so why man. aren't you wearing one? Cause I'm not I'm not fully Scottish. I'm Americanized. Man, does your dad have a brogue? What's a brogue? An accent? Oh yeah, he does. Oh, yeah. I know, young uh, Will. Well, it's not Scottish. Irish, it's English. Though, yeah. I sat next. What, is, what does he have? have? An English accent. English accent. Yeah. He's not. He's and he's funnier than Russell Brand. I sat next ah. to him. Yeah. Well, why <laughs> does he wear a dress? It's a kilt. Dude, it's a dress. It's Scottish tradition. That's what you do at a wedding. He's showing his legs. Does he shave his legs? No, those legs are good, man. For an old man, look, look at, at that. Him. You see those it's little sharp. suspenders coming down to hold up the socks and <laughs> wow. everything. You know what they do? Like he's a got lot everything. He's even it's got like a chain. He's got a girdle on. He's even got a chain on his dress. Well, can wow. you see in his sock? He's got a big knife there too. They wear. Yeah, a, what is a, that? A, a well, knife in their sock. Does he, because does guys, because gonna... guys want to fight him when he's wearing a dress. Yeah, exactly. He's gonna have to take somebody. Come here, I want to fuck you. Yeah. Why does he wear a knife in his boots? I don't know. It's all part of the whole tradition. If you could see the front you can't see it but there's a big like woolly purse right over where his privates would be i mean it's a purse and a dress and there a it look at it a yeah. medal see that wow. you wear that right in wow. front of your crotch that gary? Look at that's gary. gary yeah why is he wearing oh why is he wearing a metal plate in front of his penis it's, a, it's some kind of like purse i guess is where you keep your stuff oh. i gotta tell you howard you know when you say gary starts looking fat i never think gary looks fat to me he always looks like gary but in that picture my god gary looks fat Gary's fat. Look yeah. at that. I've never seen him look like that. Like Gary, I always yeah. think of Gary as being in good shape. But I, I, but That's because if you feed Gary treats, he just has to eat them. <laughs> look, I'm fat. But... What happens is, I mean, listen, I'm fat, but when you, I'm wearing a skinny suit, you know what I mean? Like uh-huh. a, the suit doesn't fit me right. No, it's the suit's fault. Oh. Yeah, no, the suit. <laughs> but, but I could look better if I wore a suit that fit me. What happened to the suit I, I bought you? You know, it wasn't ready in time. I'm gonna, um, they couldn't get it ready in time for the wedding. I'll have it for your wedding. I bought him a suit, custom made. And he, He'll look better at your uh, wedding, Howard. Good. Yeah, don't embarrass me at my <laughs> wedding. Okay, Robin, Howard gave it to me for my birthday in March, and I've been spending the, the next six months trying to lose weight, and I put oh. five more on. I'm, like, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to get the suit till I lose weight. Oh, dear. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, anyway, hey, father's a nice-looking guy, at least. I mean, he yeah. looks good in a dress, i got to say. <laughs> I sat next so, to him at the Belmont Stakes one year, and he's a really good guy, nice guy. How old's your old man? 60 this year. Yeah, I always like to see if he's older than me. He's older than me. He's older than you, yeah. yeah good. He works out a lot, though. Too. I can't stand when uh, people are younger than me. Yeah, right. He's got to look good in it. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, congratulations on your wedding. Thank you. And then, I, like, I'm looking at the pictures. I saw Doug Goodstein sent me some pictures. Uh-huh. And, like, Ronnie always has his hands on some girl. <laughs> like, he's become, like... Ladies, man, like, like it's like it's like in this one picture, of course, of Ronnie, he's lifting a girl in a short dress. He's like picking her up. Look, mm. see what I mean? Oh my god! He's like always oh, got his hands on somebody. Oh, you know, I'm scoresman, sort of... damn it! 
Like and it. I'm about getting drunk. I'm about having fun. I'm about having a good time. I'm about meeting girls. I'm about meeting guys. And whoever doesn't like it can go fuck themselves because that's what I'm all about. I'm Scores Man. And that's what Scores Man is all about. It's like uh, Bubba's wedding. He, remember he was dirty dancing no, with I, some girl at the yes. Bubba's You're wedding. always like, you're the guy no, always I was, with the I wasn't look, doing anything. Turn around, turn around and look at the picture. Yeah. What are you doing? You? That's because everybody, we're taking a picture, and then some asshole pushed everybody and threw us down. And I'm not going to say who it was. You're not picking up a girl there. No. She was falling over, dude. Look, you're always involved. Dude, I don't want to hear this shit. You're always involved. Look at him throwing down <laughs> headphones. What a fucking nut. And then, and then they sent me uh -oh. this tape of him. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't want to hear this shit. You see, he's carried away with yeah, himself. Yeah, yeah, He's totally carried yeah. away with himself. He doesn't have to listen because he just no. judged the stripper awards. Right. That, that's an odd picture, though, of all those people. They look like a fun-loving improv group or something, taking a pressure off. So they sent Ronnie out to... Uh, <laughs> that, you know, Ronnie always... You know, Ronnie used to complain to me when he was just my limo driver. He wanted to do appearances and stuff. Like, he couldn't believe he wasn't sort of part of it. So I brought him up here as the security guy. So now he's in the mix. So he's become a whole personality. Somebody hired him for this stripper awards. And I think they paid good money. I, I, they did. I think he made a lot of money. I was happy for him, but... You know, he, it's starting to go to his head. You could see just by his reaction now, like you can't ask him about a picture. That's right. Don't talk to me, man. Yeah. He's like, uh, he's a big shot. I don't need this crap. He, and he drives that limo now belligerently. When, whenever Beth and I are in the back of it, he drives so crazy. Does he throw you around in the back? Oh, my God. I, I don't, we go, he's dangerous. <laughs> you know what? It's you're like carried a, away with like yourself. You, know, park ride. you can't eat. You're throwing down headphones. You're yeah. a big shot. Big yeah. shot. Big because, shot. Because I went to a wedding. I had a good time and didn't even do anything. Look at the picture. Minding my own business. Look at okay? the picture. Look at the picture. Look. You're in the Turn around and look. I saw the picture and look I know exactly again. what happened. What happened? We were taking a picture. Somebody yeah. was drunk. You got okay? a big smile on Somebody your face. Somebody was drunk. I'm not going to say who it was. Yeah. And they threw everybody, they pushed everybody, everybody fell over. I grabbed the girl so she wouldn't fall on the floor. Well, is I, that okay with you? Always you. Is that okay always with you? you? Always you. Is that okay You're with you? You're always there to help the lady in distress. She always. was standing next to me when the picture was being taken. Is that okay? Just like Bubba's wedding. No, it wasn't like Bubba's wedding at all. Nobody even knew I was there. Look at you. So anyway, you got to hear him. So now he gets hired for the stripper awards. Yeah. Exotic dancer awards. Exotic dancer awards. Exactly. What are exotic dancers? Strippers. <laughs> so anyway. Strippers and porn chicks. So here is Ronnie as the MC. No, no. Co-host. Co-host. Oh. Jesse, Jesse Jane. Me and Jesse Jane. All right. Here we go. What a team. You got to hear, hear this. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, my God. I'm looking at these faces out here. I know a lot of these people from the Howard Stern show. A lot of these porn girls. What am I doing here? What the hell are you doing here? You're I, just here to look at strippers. I have no clue, but you know what, guys? I've been involved with this industry a long time. Nobody even probably knows that shit. But on our show, we hope that... Our show. Oh, come on, man. We're on our we show. Were just, involved we were... with what a long time without us knowing? I, the stripping industry. Really? What do you? You're in, you've been involved. No, no one knows you've been involved in the stripping industry. That's right. You go to strip clubs. That's, That's right. That's it. I'm involved in the stripping involved. industry. Man. Everybody enjoys adult clubs. We for adult clubs. We're for everybody going to strip clubs. Why am I included in this? You're we're, not included in it. Our on show. our show, we're for strip clubs. Well, we're, we all go. We're. We, we all go. No, 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 no. You said the Howard Stern show. We're for strip clubs. No, no, no. Why no. do I have to be included in your gig? <laughs> no. Why do I? Listen to this comment again. I'll play it again. <sighs> I got to set you straight. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, guys. my God. I'm looking at these faces out here. I know a lot of these people from the Howard Stern show. A lot of these porn girls. What am I doing here? What the hell are you doing here? You're I, just here to look at strip clubs. I have no clue, but you know what, guys? I've been involved with this industry a long time. Nobody even probably knows that shit. But on our show, we hope that everybody enjoys adult clubs. We're for adult clubs. We're for everybody going to strip clubs. We're for, We're for everybody, everybody watching porno. You sound, you sound insane. I am insane. Okay. On our man. show, we're for. Haven't you said that it's, there's no. nothing wrong with going to strip clubs? Ronnie, when I say it, it's one thing. 
When you say it, we I all don't said. I, when did you become my spokesperson? I didn't. I'm not saying it was you. you did said I say it was on you? On our show, our oh, show. My God. When did this become your show? How about just making Ronnie statements? Yeah, I. Say, I believe I'm Ronnie. Oh, okay. We're not we. There's no we. All right. I'm not oh, with you. Okay. I you drive me. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We believe Ronnie. Now we uh, all spreading want. the word. We all want. This is my representative. Everybody yeah, okay. to go to strip clubs. Right. This is what we... Hey, listen again. And you haven't said this before on the air. Ronnie, and you haven't said again, anything about porn you chicks. are not There's my, nothing wrong with watching you, porn. I don't need you... Inter- you know what it's like? When Jesus I didn't Christ, say it was When you. Jesus Christ spoke, <laughs> it was a thing of beauty. Jesus was a beautiful, brilliant man. <laughs> then a bunch of assholes formed a church and started interpreting what he said. Right. And that's when that's all this shit church. went to... That's, that's my church. Right. Okay. So what the problem is, when I say something, I construct it a certain way because I'm saying it for me. I okay. don't need you to spread my gospel. I wasn't talking about you. Who were you talking about then? I was talking about me. But uh, No, but you said we. Uh, okay. Who is the we you're talking about then? <sighs> Who are the we? Nobody. Nobody? <laughs> Nobody. Well, what are you talking about then? Nothing. If you're so insane, you don't know what I'm you're insane. talking about. Tell That's me what right. you're, you're I'm insane. I'm insane. I'm going to play it again. Uh, oh, come on. I'm going to keep playing play it until it you can answer me. Until you answer me. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to start again. Here we go. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, no. Why do you have to I'm keep to doing this? I have no clue, but probably knows that shit. But on our show, we, we. hope that everybody enjoys adult clubs. We for adult clubs. We're for everybody going to strip clubs. We're, We're for, for everybody club. watching porno. Fuck those assholes who say they shouldn't watch that shit and shouldn't go to strip clubs. If you're that fucked up, check yourself into a loony bin. You're in strip clubs all... See, my problem with you is, first of all, you're talking for me. We, the I Howard Stern talk Show. I for you. Also, you're not funny. And I don't need... I wasn't trying to be funny. We were just hosting This is a... serious. Oh, oh this yeah. is serious? Yeah, exactly. Oh, you weren't trying to be funny. You no, are trying to be funny. I wasn't funny. trying to be funny. You want to be arty up on stage, no, you're not No, I'm not, not trying arty. to be arty. What are you, where does Who that you come arty? from? Who are you, arty? Where does that come <laughs> from? It, where, where's where, your stand Where the hell does that come they from? Lot of way. Everybody else witty. goes and does something, it's okay. I no, do something... They don't and... say we. Oh, yes, they do. Show me a tape. Oh, God. Why do you have to represent me? Just go up there and say, my, I, hi, my name is Ronnie, and I'm for people going to strip clubs. Okay, fine. Then I have no problem. All right. What is this we, motherfucker? Okay. Okay. You become carried away with yourself. Ah, uh, yeah, very carried away. Very carried, carried away. away. Right. You're, you're, you're and a I drive like man. A, and I drive like a lunatic. You dr- and you, when I, I put drive up the like divi- a madman. When I'm in the back, I put up the divider. Put up the divider. He's, you know, I go crazy. he's a star. He I'm be a star. Di- I should, I should be divider. listening to everything you're saying. Why would I put up the divider to a star? And then he starts to drive erratically. Erratically. We're rolling Like, like a madman. Rolling. Goes, oh, my God. We're in danger. Oh we're in God. danger. Right. So I'm not the only one. Okay. You're in danger. Grumpy. Danger. Ronnie at the Exotic Dancer Awards will be on Howard TV tomorrow. I'll be able to examine those tapes. Wow. And Howard TV is also making a special about Ronnie's weekend in Vegas, which I'll be be Ooh. very interested in. Yeah. I will be Good. tuned in to go Howard ahead. TV. Go ahead. Two parter. Go ahead. Do two it. parter. Listen. Go ahead. Watch. I'm gonna. I can't I even see. watch anymore. I Why can't not? watch because they shut my stuff off. Good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What, what, Who what? shut your stuff how, off? How, in demand. They shut my fucking stuff off. Why? Why? I don't know. Good. Ask them. I, I told them to. That's yeah, why. Yeah, good. After all the shit I do for them, they fucking shut it off. What did you do? What did you do? What do you mean they shut Make it? Make an asshole they, out of myself for them. They intentionally shut it off or yeah. is it an oversight? No, they shut it off. What do you I mean? went to they... Doug Goodstein and said, no, they won't turn it back on. So. What? Oh. That's it. Wow. That's odd. Why? Well, that is odd. Yeah. Oh, all right. Nice people. I mean, can't see your own shows. Yeah, wow. exactly. Good. Did you do something? They didn't give me an explanation. Did you even do anything to aggravate them? Or no. What the hell all did the I time. do? Oh, baby, you don't even know. Oh, I know. I know. You gave me a little preview oh. of the taxi ride over here. Please, that big six foot nine guy that was with you. I ain't messing with that motherfucker. <laughs> Well, do you think we should get on with the show? I think it's time. All right, let's do this thing. Everybody enjoy it, all right? Yeah! Carried away. Carried away. Let's hear some more. Oh, this is you and Ron Jeremy on stage now. Yeah, well, that was the stupidest thing ever. That was his hey! idea. That was his idea. This is, nice. Hey! This is very good. Ron Jeremy and Ron the limo driver. Two, yeah. two Rons make a right. I can't listen to this. No, I don't think you should. 
Oh, let me hear a little. No, I don't Come listen. On. Come don't on listen here. anymore. I don't, I don't want to hear, hear anymore. Right, here's, right. here's Ronnie backstage with Ron Jeremy, and Ron Jeremy thinks Ronnie is Reverend Bob Levy. He can't even figure out who Ronnie is. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> My boys. How about this band, That's huh? Awesome. These guys are great. No, no, that's not that. Everybody, is everybody having a good time? That's what I want to know. I think that's Ronnie's line now. Is everybody, is everybody, everybody having, having a, a good time? time. He He's uses that a lot. Is there something yeah. wrong with that? Was there your name involved no, in that, that too? Isn't that your new, what did I do? Is that your catchphrase? What, what did I do? That's his what catchphrase. Did I do? What did I do wrong? All I knew is I'm excited. I didn't hear anything. Did you hear anything? I didn't hear anything. Come on. Are you having a good time? There it is again. That's better. I'm so excited. Right, here's here's Ronnie backstage with uh, with uh, Ron Jeremy. Yeah, I gotta find it. I, I know it's in here. What is this? Ronnie threatens a guy. No. No, let me hear that first. Who oh, are you yeah. threatening? Jesse Jane's taking pictures with somebody. Yeah. Okay. She needed to go on. She needed to go backstage. So I went to go get her. So this guy goes. He's taking pictures, and as I'm walking in, you don't want him go, taking pictures. Of no, you? no, 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 no. Oh. As I was going walking in to get Jesse. He takes me and he shows me, throws me against the wall and tells me to get out of the way. Oh. Get down next time. Stand back, please. Don't push me, man, okay? Jess. Yes. Hey, man. Hi, how are you? How you doing? Good, how are you? <laughs> Say hello to Howard TV. What's up, Howard TV? I'm with Jesse J. And Ronnie and I are going to call some Push me again and you'll be out of here for the night, okay? Just so you know. I love it. I push it. And now here's Ronnie backstage with Ron Jeremy. There he is. There he is. There's my man. I haven't seen him in a long time. I saw you last night. Where? Saw, where? At the penthouse. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I, I went to the. Um, the you went to Cat House, right. but I saw you at the Penthouse booth yesterday. Yes. And you've been on our show. Of course. The Stern Show, correct? Of course. Of course. Oh, no. My, my, my ambassador, Ronnie, the limo driver. Yeah. Where is this you've guy? You've been what on our show. What did I do? You, uh... What did I do? What was wrong with that? When Does he not know? Is that why you're doing all this? He, he doesn't really know who you are? Yeah, he doesn't know who Ronnie is, so he's going to. He's, yeah, he's, he's saying explain. the Howard Stern Show. He knew who I was. Show. Please me. He no, he doesn't was. listen. Okay. Believe it or not, me and Jesse Jane are hosting this. Oh, yeah, you're Reverend Bob Levy. Yeah. I'm, no, I'm, I'm, no, sorry. Yeah. Exactly. I'm Reverend yeah. Bob Levy. Where is, is, he, is he also MC? Excuse me? Is he also MC? Is it is? No, I am hosting it. I'm, I'm, Ron, I'm Ronnie. I'm Ron. And you're Little Ron. driver. There you go. God damn it. We met a couple times. Yes. But well, why do you look different? The, the, the... I don't know. I'm still, it's still me. Yeah. Still the same guy. They keep, they keep telling me. We talked about Ronald Queens. Ronald Remember, we talked about Queens. Were you on the show when I was on there? Okay. Yes. Yeah, I, 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 I've been there 23 years, pal. I'd go with that. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. A lot of conversation. Yeah, yeah. He knew who I was, believe me. <laughs> Everyone knows he, you. He was sticking it up. Hook knows Mike. Go ahead. Hey, good morning, Howard. Hook knows you, bastard. Or should I say, good morning, Ronnie, you short Eugene bastard. Yeah, okay. I mean, when, when did this become the Ronnie Munn show, Howard? Well, I don't know. He, he's backstage. He's in front of the stage. This is the credo of our show. We like strippers. We promote uh, porn. He's throwing headphones down. I can't listen to this shit. What's your problem? Yeah. Oh, he's all carried away. Right. It's Very carried away. Else when it comes to Ronnie. Big he shot. Goes, Big shot. No problem. What are you doing? This and that. Right, Ronnie? Right. Whatever you say. That's all you got to say? Uh, nope. I got nothing to say. You got to so say you're wrong. You admit you're wrong. Yeah, I'm all wrong. Totally wrong. I'm always wrong. All right, thank I got an idea, Ronnie. How about you pay for Howard in demand? Maybe, maybe then, then you'll get it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, well, I did. Now I canceled it. I was oh. paying for it. Oh, you canceled it? Yeah, I canceled it. So, so why are you saying that they took it away from you? Well, they did. I ha originally I had it, they took it, and then they took it away, and I was paying for it, and now I canceled it. I don't know. It sounds like okay. you're backpedaling to me. I'm not backpedaling. Sounds like a backpedal to me well, too. Well, whatever. Greg, go ahead. You're on the air. This is shit. Yeah. Who does Ronnie think he is? Is he trying to become the next Hugh Hefner? Yeah. I mean, right. He's a Hugh Hefner. That's me. He's the next Hugh Hefner. That's me. <laughs> He's just a pervy old guy. That's you right. And Hugh Hefner is a young pervy guy. Robin, okay. you explain it to him. That, like, I don't need him going I don't need anybody stage. explaining anything. I know exactly what you're talking about. Ronnie. I didn't mention your he's, name. He's they Jew Hefner. Ronnie. Yeah, right. Oh. Okay, fine. I wasn't going to say okay. that. that. You heard of you Hefner? It's Jew Hefner. Hefner. Right. <laughs> fine. No, no clue Hefner. Fine. 
Whatever. But it's it's Ronnie, and Ronnie's stepping out, but he doesn't know what to say when he steps right, out. Right, right. He's stepping out. He's got, he's latched onto this strip club thing. Yeah. He's now Ricky Man scores me wherever Lonnie goes. Yeah. He almost blew he that when I explained to him you'd be loyal to Lonnie. Right, but he right. doesn't but, even prepare himself. No. So he's no. St- standing up there. So he gets up talking there, talking off the cuff, and he's like, "We on the Howard Stern show, our show, we believe in the following." Like I sent him out. Right. There. Like he's got uh, a right. list of things to say for you. Yeah. How about sitting down with somebody and, and writing out some prepared statements so you don't get up there and say the wrong thing? Hey, what's with those crazy new shirts you're wearing, too? Oh, the what's shirts going are on crazy. with that? He's got a whole, did you see that? He had a whole big crazy striped shirt last yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean crazy? Me, Why was that crazy? Yeah, looks it was like crazy. A Why was that crazy? Dark shirt. Why was you, that crazy? Somebody's dressing you differently. Why was that crazy? It was wild. It was wild. It was so many stripes and so many colors. Yeah, he's, okay. He's, he's yeah, bursting you get, out with co- yeah, you're like a Doug peacock. Good, you're you're bu- getting the notes from Doug Goodstein. No, now, right? yeah, please. He started saw, that whole fucking thing last week, and then Doug the next did? day, yeah, and then the next day I, came I noticed in, your shirt. And right then away. the next day I came. No, you didn't. You didn't I sure say did. shit. You didn't say boo about it. I'm not, I didn't say it to your Doug face. Goodstein I say put, it on the air. Put it in your face. You no, know? he didn't yeah. say a word. And then, and then the next day it was a black shirt. I was wearing a black shirt, and now I was Johnny Cash. I mean, you know. Give it a rest. How's the hair dye look today? Yeah, it looks great, dude. <laughs> looks fucking awesome. <laughs> the hair, the hair uh, it looks good, man. Yeah, it's colored. It it's yeah, nice, though. It's yeah, a little bit good. gray, though. I think yeah. you should go darker. I don't want to go darker. You should be jet black. I don't want to be jet black. Like Levy. Levy does. He'll look like that. No, uh, Levy doesn't do it anymore. That Satan. hypnotist we had. <laughs> no, he'll look like. Dr. King. Dr. King. You know who he'd look like? <laughs> who was that guy who used to worship Satan? Oh, um. What was the Le- leader? Anton LeVay. Yeah, Anton, Anton LeVay. <laughs> I'm Anton the limo driver LeVay. I'm Ronnie LeVay. And if you right. don't like it, you can kiss my ass. And then cursing. Yeah, that every is minute. Too Motherfucker. Much. Since we went to Sirius, he curses like a banshee. You MFers every You every motherfucker. Second. Yeah, here he is. S word yeah. all the time. Okay. Hey! This is, nice. Hey! This is my good. Ron Charlie and Ron the limo driver. Two, yeah. two Rons make a right. <laughs> One more makes more Ron. And a thief, you have Enron. Okay. That's why I'm going to let you handle this. Here we go. This is good, isn't it? you got all these sexy ladies and all these big erections out there. That's why they call this the joint. Okay, here we go. Now, the nominees for best... Somebody laugh. Thank you, Daddy D. The bunny ranch. Okay, good. You know, the joint. Okay, so you know. Here we go. Nominees for Best Newcomer Feature Entertainer are Ron Jeremy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It says it right there. You wrote that yourself, you asswipe. What are you doing? Okay. Is that your new word, asswipe? Okay. No. Is that your new word, asswipe? No, this is what he planned. <laughs> but then later on backstage, you lot, called the guy an asswipe. This is what he planned. But okay. later on backstage, you used the word asswipe. Uh, I've noticed you're using asswipe. Somebody oh put something in your God. head, you can't get rid of it. Give me a break. There's a problem with the bit. I'm trying to think if it's the writing or the execution. <laughs> I didn't read the bit, Artie. It, was a, it wasn't my Ron idea. Ron Jeremy is annoying with that. It he wasn't my idea. He always idea. And he wants to be a comedian. Right. In the oh worst yeah, way. in the worst way. And he is. And it, I wasn't even supposed to be out there with him. It was his idea to, for me to be out there with him <laughs> at the last minute. And you gave him material. Andrew, you're on the air in Morristown. Hey, how a big fan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, I figured out what went wrong with Ronnie's appearance. You know, he was standing up there facing the crowd. He should have turned around. People would recognize the back of his head because he's a limo driver. All right. Well, okay. There you go. Thank There's you. another guy who wow. wants to work with you. But only only <laughs> Howard would, only <laughs> Howard would recognize that. <laughs> right. Make any sense? Of it. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Wolfie, go ahead. You're on in Philadelphia. Hey guys, what's going on? Hey, I uh, I was just curious to know uh, who was the biggest embarrassment at Will's we- uh, wedding this weekend. <laughs> I heard the biggest embarrassment. Maybe Ronnie, you were there. I heard it was Tim Sabian. I'm really? not saying anything. I'm saying. Is that who pushed anything. everybody and knocked yeah. everybody down? Tim got loaded, and then they, they had a screen where you could take pictures in front of, and then Tim would just ram people from behind the screen. Wow. <laughs> and then he walked oh up God. to some chick. Oh my God. You see that screen? Yeah, that's, yeah. Why, that's why that chick's falling onto Ronnie. Oh, right. So why am I blamed for that? Oh, Ronnie, look. Come on. You have your hands all over. There's nothing. 
Why well, am I blamed for that? Did you just watch this video? That's not from the screen falling. Wait Roll that minute. tape back. Right. Roll the right tape back. Up. Roll the tape back <laughs> from the beginning and let Ronnie watch it. This yeah, has nothing Ronnie, to do with the screen. What are you talking about? You're, look come on, dude. You're wait a minute. Wait a minute. Up. You're picking Roll, up from the Hold tits. on. Hold on. Roll a bit. Roll it back. Roll it back. Whose arm did she run it? Whose arms did she run into? Did I tell her to and come who over? Gra- but did who I grabbed tell her, her to come who over? Who grabbed her titties? Look. Roll it look, back. Look. Look. No, 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 dude. To be in the film. You told me that she went into you. You told me she went into you because. Yeah. Was I the only the one? Was Hello. I just said it's always you. You're always the guy. Roll it back and who Roll did it she, back. Roll it back. Roll it back and, and, and see. You who gr- did she run into? Stu- she didn't did run I into you. Did I call her and say, hey, come here. Fall she, into stood, my arm? she stood in front of you Look. and you grabbed her. You she grabbed right her. Right her. Dude, she fell over. right into me. Uh, okay. What are you Robin, what do you see in that picture? Me? I see the girl come up to get into the picture oh, and Robin, Ronnie wraps so his arms shit. all around her and picks he her up. He touches oh, everyone. You're such a fucking He's very, liar. Look, watch. What Here happens? we go. Look, she look, pulls look, her in. She fell right into me. Bam. And now the arms Oh, my God. God are you kidding me? Goes. You're not looking at it. I am. You're not even watching it, Ronnie. I'm watching it. I was there. Roll it back again. Roll it back again from the beginning and watch it and stop talking. And you tell me what happened. Who's here, calling her over? Here she comes. Here she comes. Everybody puts his hand call, on her. Everybody was calling and, uh, her over. You stopped watching again. You stopped Every, watching. I saw You turned it, your head dude. away. Everybody called her over because she had big boobs. <laughs> Whose hands were on those boobs? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Howard, Howard, when did this guy become the life of the pop party? Oh, wrong? shut up, Wolfie. He's not Go the life of the Gary, party. Go watch Gary, okay? He thinks he's the life Go of the party. Go chase Gary around. Stick your nose up his ass, okay? Ronnie Dangerfield, you're so yeah. funny. Good. Ronnie yeah. Dangerfield. Ronnie Dangerfield. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> You're the life of the party. I am the life Wolfie's of the party. Right. I'm the life of the party. You're wild. That's me. You're wild. That's me. Oh. It's, yep, it's, it's so terrible to have a good time. Ronnie, you have the worst personality in the world. Yeah, good. You're up on and you, oh, you're, you got a great personality. Everybody That's loved you when you were up here. They couldn't wait for you to fucking leave. You're so goddamn boring. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they just couldn't wait for you to leave. All right, Ron. There you go. Thank you for appearing at the, what is it again? The Stripper Exotic Dance Exotic Awards. Exotic Dance Awards. You did a great job. Thank you very much. And Everybody thanks for did. bringing up my name and saying our and what I believe in. Thank now, you. Now, what kind uh, of let's fuck I didn't say that's what you believe in. When you say we and you talk about that the can, Howard Stern that Show, be, that that's me. That's yeah. me. All right. All what right. kind of weekend did he have? I mean, he was, I guess, put up in first class accommodations. For I was there for five days. He Ooh. had a good time. He did. He had, wow. I don't mind him doing this no, no, stuff. No, no, no. Just I'm leave just me out. No, I guess you do. You do no, I don't. I think you do. His days in Vegas. No, I hosted a couple of parties. Oh. And uh, spent one day at a topless pool. Uh huh. How was that? That was great. <laughs> that had to be Mandalay good. Bay has a topless pool, which is really Really? Awesome. Yeah. Oh. With all those, you know, the porn chicks and strippers in town for this whole thing, and so they were all good running. Boobs. They were all running around. <laughs> Holy Ronnie, Christ! Did you cover up your man boobs. Yeah, my man boobs. I don't have man <laughs> boobs, asshole. They're looking a little sloppy, buddy. Yeah, okay. Whatever you say. Go, I, like I said, you know, you're infatuated with Gary. Go chase Gary around. Stick your nose up his ass, okay? And hey, you got to cut lighten up on the cursing okay. every minute with that. Okay. The Ronnie yeah. Munn Show on Howard yeah. TV, October 8th. Everyone will see it except Ronnie. That's right. Uh, maybe we'll invite him over. Maybe you could see it at Robbins. <laughs> I'm dying to know the rest of that story when they took Ronnie's on the man. Yeah, the so am I. I'd like to know the answer to that myself. Mm-hmm. Ronnie, if you use your AAR. Why has Ronnie's uh, Howard TV been taken away, Doug? I, I asked. Doug's not here yet, Howard. And I asked Angie. Nobody back there knows anything about it. Oh, they know about it. They're, now they're playing stupid. Oh, really? Gangie yeah. said, Gangie said this is the first he's hearing of. Yeah, he's full of shit, too. Okay? He knows? He knows. Gangie, do you know? Why isn't he talking? Because he knows. That's why. All right. All right. Ganji, why are you taking away his uh, Howard TV? I, I, I don't Do you know, know anything about this? I, I, this is the first I'm hearing of it. If he talked to Doug about it, then maybe Doug was dealing with it. But first I'm hearing of it. And then he turned it over to you. No, he didn't. And then the answer came back to me is, that's it. He turned it over to me? Yeah. Why would I this take is, your Howard is, TV this away? This is about six months ago. You know and what? that's when I started paying for it. And then I decided... Well, screw you. I'm not going to pay for it. Why won't you just pay for it, then? I don't want it. What, are you cheap? Yeah, I'm cheap. <laughs> I'm cheap. <laughs> I, I'll look into it today. Yeah. I mean, uh, I go and do that. I go to do reality show for you guys. Yeah. Three weeks with cameras following me around. You can't give me Howard TV? No, you're going to miss yeah. your own show now. Oh, good. <laughs> I, I don't give a fuck. We're actually, we're, actually we're, do, we're doing a premiere on my show at Rick's Cabaret. Yeah. You'll get to see and episode you're all, one. You're all invited. It's <laughs> so Dangy and Doug. 
Listen, you better be happy Howard TV follows you around. That's why uh, I am Lonnie happy. likes you I am uh, happy. at Rick's Cabaret. Yeah, I like that's why you're out in Vegas for five yeah. days. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. I understand. You better think, suck you these think guys I balls. don't understand that? How well, are you you're gonna, carrying you're, on. No, because I, you, I don't think it's right that they took it away. I'm sorry. You're going to love the show. Each episode is 30 minutes of busting Ronnie's ball. Oh, how, how, how many episodes? Well, how Four many, episodes. Let's see. Let's Four. See. How many minutes Four was ep- it today of busting my balls? It is just Sal and Richard busting Ronnie's balls. For like, Give me an example. What goes on? Um, they take a car. We have like a life-size cardboard cutout. They take it on the street, and they ask people questions about Ronnie, like what they think about. <laughs> like The one question is, like, how old do they think he is? What nationality do they think he is? Um, then it's like a, a montage with like a devil and angel on Ronnie's shoulders thinking uh, about like what's going on in his head because Ronnie's it's just a shot of Ronnie sitting in the hallway uh, and then it's, I don't um, sit in the hallway then it's Richard Damn and Sal's it. interpretations of what's going on on Ronnie's phone when he's talking on the phone wow um, that's jam packed four yeah, episodes four episodes of busting Ronnie's balls it is the greatest television ever yeah, the whole wow. month of October how exciting and I can't, even, I can't even see it. It's like our Halloween treat. Robin, it's Ron Tober. <laughs> there you go. Well, you heard of October. It. It's Ron Tober. It's Ron Not Tober. to be confused with Mon November. <laughs> yeah, Mon Dember. And you, you can see me at Rick's Cabaret. Here, Doug can explain. 33rd Doug. and 6th. Doug, go ahead. Yeah, there's nothing to explain. Uh, Ronnie, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't oh, you're such a... Oh, Doug, over. don't lie to me now, okay? You're I, such I a saying, liar. I came to you and I said, they shut it off, and you said, well, I, there's nothing I can do about it. Don't don't no, lie to me now, okay? The deal was that we, don't lie to me. I'm not lying. You are lying. I, can't, well, let's I would hear. like to hear what he has to say. Yeah, shut up, you old man. Yeah, right. God. So there was comps when the service first started. And they're not really available anymore, so just pay for it. I pay for it. I did pay for it. <laughs> I pay for it. I did pay for it. Okay. I'm about to start paying. No, I shut it now off. Now that there's a Ronnie special, I don't know why. Double. Ah. <laughs> you could comp Ronnie. That's it. I'll try to comp you. No, no, no. You I don't, I don't want him to. You don't? Okay, no, forget it. Don't I don't do want it. him to. He doesn't want the service. No, because I, I asked him once. I was about to get it for you. No, I asked him once. All right, big shot. Oh, no, oh listen oh, to that, Howard. Howard. See, I asked him once. He asked I, I asked Doug. I went, when Ronnie asked, asked something for once, no, 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 he responded. I went to Doug and I talked to him about it. He said, there's nothing I can do, and that's fine. Leave it that way. All right. How do you make how do you make that call? Like when I bought my car, the guy said, "Well, I can't do anything, so you got to start paying the bill." But if you call Sirius, I'm sure you can get a comp. I'm not going to make that call. How embarrassing! <laughs> like, yeah, I, I can. I, can I want that comp. To, you know. Well, yeah, I mean, it's not that work much. here. You should get a car. Yeah, I know, but but still, I'm not going to actually Ronnie make is the call. Pro- Ronnie is, you know, part of the show and providing. <laughs> no, the I know. The, the, you the, could the, give you him got, a comp. You got a good point there. Yeah. No, I don't want it. No. Well, no, don't give it to him because now he's being an asshole. No, I'm not being an asshole. Now you're being an asshole. No, I went and spoke. I was about to get it fixed for you, but you're being an asshole. I went and spoke to the guy. I went and spoke to the guy, and the guy told me there's nothing you can do. That's fine. All right, good. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. You're an asshole. I'm not being an asshole. You're being an asshole. I wish he was being an asshole. He's being a big baby. You're a baby. Okay. You're being a baby asshole. Okay. <laughs> I'm a baby asshole. I guess a baby... What is it, asshole? A baby asshole and asswife? Right. Thank you, Doug. Uh, Mike, go ahead. You're on the being air. being an asslet. Yes, Mike. Hey, Howard? Yes. Hey, pleasure to talk to you. Hey, Ronnie. Yes, sir. You go around screaming, let's fuck some whores at weddings. All these wives... I didn't scream any fuck, let's fuck, any, you let some fuck some whore. whores. You I didn't scream anything. You have at weddings, and then all the wives go, why does he say that? And I don't do it anymore. And I get then scores gets busted for prostitution. You ruined all the fucking fun. Right. Yeah. I, that's my fault. Yeah. You yeah. Let, you let the cat out of the bag. Right. Oh, okay. You ever do you ever see Howard going anywhere with you anymore to these strippers? No. Clubs? Hell no. no. Absolutely not. Exactly. I steer him that's clear. All, that's my fault too. Yes. Right. You talk too much. Everything's my fault. You talk too much. Are right. you saying you stop going because of Ronnie? Yep, that's wow. the truth. Thank you. He talks too much. If they get right. rid of Ronnie, I go back. All right, <laughs> let him get rid of me. <laughs> tough choice for Ronnie. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's a pleasure. Pleasure hour talking to you. Thank you. Yes, Ethel, go ahead. You're on the air. Hi, Art. It's Ethel. Yes, Ethel. Yeah. All right, Richard. Oh, Goodbye. We'd, we'd like to have Richard. We'd like to have Ronnie host the AARP Awards. <laughs> Aren't those the, the retirement awards? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Ethel. Thank you. All right. Uh, well, okay, Ron. There you right. are from the what is it again? The Exotic Dancer Awards. All right, Exotic Dancer Awards. Thank you. And Howard TV has lots of footage of Ronnie falling asleep in the hallway. Really? Yeah. Falling asleep in That's the hallway. That's what it says here. Howard TV has lots of footage. Lots of footage. 
Did you fall asleep in the hall? I had my eyes closed for two seconds in the green room <laughs> on Thursday. And Richard walks in with this stupid one, that one that he uses on Artie. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh God. <laughs> that, that's lots of footage. Lots of footage. Sleeping in his tree. <laughs> he's been he's tired, he's been making cookies all night. <laughs> <laughs> I need to put that on a loop. Yeah. Who was doing security while you were sleeping? Uh, I was right sleeping? Here. Richard. What does it mean, uh, Ganji? Lots of uh, footage. Mm. Also, in the in the Ronnie Munn show, there's a montage of uh, Ronnie hard at work in the hallway, and it's just all this footage set to a lullaby of Ronnie like dozing off, yeah, okay. <laughs> and his eyes like getting, and his like head bobbing. Yeah, right. So, uh, okay. Yeah. I gotta see that. Special. Yeah, it's it's uh, great. It's, it's great. great. It's yeah. Why it's are you sleeping be... on the job? I wasn't sleeping. He kept blaming He's the out lights. Late at night. He kept blaming the lights. He's like, oh, the lights are bothering my out, eyes, like, my allergies. He kept making all these weird excuses. He can't stay awake. I don't go out on nights of work. Okay? He, he's no, old. Never. It's tough to stay awake. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you ought to say yeah. you're up late. You've got to take a nap at some point. Yeah, okay, Dan. <laughs> it's my security's nap time. <laughs> right. <laughs> See, he is a baby. He needs a nap. Right. A nap. Yeah, I need, my, I need a little crib out there. <laughs> We should get one. Yeah, get me a crib. <laughs> how many, when you say montage, how many clips do you think oh, are in there? It's it? probably 20, 30 clips. Yeah, wow. Yeah. yeah. It's all, it's from yeah. three weeks of. You're of, so <laughs> full of shit, Ganji. You're oh, telling me 20 great. or 30 times There's you caught all, me sleeping. In all different locations. <laughs> in, Scott's, in Scott's room, in yeah. the green room, in the hall. Yeah, and how many closed. times have you looped it? Okay. Oh, Lisa G yeah. evidently right. says she caught Ronnie dead asleep last week. Really? No. Yeah. What? Lisa, come on in here and tell us about that. That's breaking news. How come that didn't? Make it yeah. on the house. Dead asleep. Let's hear, she can back up Ganji. Lisa? The, the levees are breaking. This is our news reporter. Yeah, the levees she can't are breaking. Lie. She can't lie. It's like being in the New Orleans today. Lisa, what did you want to I didn't want to say anything. He was asleep. Where was this? In the green in, room. In Scott's studio. When? It was, it was last week. Last I, I week? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't wake you up. Last week. Yeah, I think it was last week. Yeah, I was fast asleep. You were fast asleep. Oh, okay. I, didn't, I was whispering. Why didn't you report right. it on the news? You just you felt bad for Ronnie? Uh, no, I was kind of impressed. He must be having a wild life when he leaves here. What, <laughs> what he's so hell's... tired. Why are you saying this is last week? <laughs> yeah, last week. <laughs> If Wild you're that life. tired, something's going on when you're leaving work. So you walked into Scott the Engineer's room, mm -hmm. and why is he in Scott the Engineer's room even? Because he sits there. That's where I sit. Yeah. That's where you sit? Yeah. And so he was yeah, sitting, it was kind and, of like that. and you went to talk to him, and he was out cold? No, she I doesn't just, talk to no. me, so she didn't go to he talk was, to me. His head was back a little bit, and he was yeah, sound my head, asleep. Yeah, my head was back. That means I was sound asleep. But he's, I don't see him that much sleeping. This It was the first time I've ever seen him sleeping. All right, so only one time from for me. G, for you. Yeah. Right, and, and so 30 I 30 other times for Ganji. Really? All right. Yeah. They do Thank say you, it's different locations. Right. Different right. locations. I need a crib. He's working hard. I need a crib. <laughs> hey, Ron, try to stay awake, though. Really, okay. That's not, that's not looking good for you. Okay. Ron, really? Lisa, you can't fall asleep. You, you caught him. I, I wasn't going to tell on him. I mean, I think maybe I told Jason, but, you know, I just said, you know, keep it quiet. Right. He's okay. sleeping. All right. Hmm. What if what if uh, someone had broken in at that point? Well, he I hope been they're cold. quiet too, <laughs> so they don't disturb Ronnie. Yes, I was fast asleep. I need I need a crib. Honestly, you have a like think you you have a more important job to do. When I fall asleep, people just miss a couple of stupid mm -hmm. jokes. I mean, you're protecting people. Mm -hmm. It's 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 that. All right, all right, Artie. Well, he ain't protecting got, anyone I, if he's sleeping. I got, right, I got the I'm message, saying. Artie. I got the message. <laughs> all right, I got the <laughs> message. Right. It's okay. Mm -hmm. All right. What are you so tired from? What are you doing? Nothing. All right. Nothing. Heroin? Is it not heroin? No, no. What are you Good. up to? You're nodding off like Artie. <laughs> no, no heroin. Don't admit it. Don't deny it. Stop it. Okay. All right. All right I thanks. promise. All right, Ron. All thank right. you. All right. There he is. The big star is born. Ronnie, the limo driver. <laughs> yeah. Lisa G. reporting that she spotted him sleeping in Scott the Engineer's studio. All right. I have to take but a really, break. really, what is it with the shirts? What is going on with those shirts? He went from exclusively the half turtleneck, those mock turtleneck right. things, 
Took these. collared shirts, yeah. and a couple of them are colorful. Yeah, they yeah look at that is. thing. There's the new one. Holy <laughs> shit. Yucca wouldn't wear that. <laughs> yeah. Very colorful. It's like a peacock. <laughs> Will, honestly, Yo. how was Ronnie at your, at your wedding? I thought he was on his best behavior. I know a lot of the assholes from around here that did go wanted him to get up and say, you know, let's fuck some whores, screaming into the microphone, which would have completely appalled my uh, wife, wife's family. But um, but he didn't do it. He showed great judgment. And I, I got to say, I thought he was great. He didn't do anything that bad. No, you know, taking his shirt off, no grabbing chicks, molesting women. Well, he did grab that one girl. Well, I guess he did grab that one, but she was falling. Isn't that what he said? You know, I I missed that part of it. I know she she seemed okay with it, so I'm not really that worried about it. But Sabian, that was the guy that was the one. Yeah, what was that about? What happened? He's just pushing people around. I think one of my friends is on the phone. He grabbed her phone and just threw it in the bushes. (laughs) He's a maniac, but he's a good guy, too. No, everyone had fun. I think it was a good time. And I was holding my breath, hoping that everybody would be on their best behavior. Even Sal behaved pretty well, so I got no complaints. What's going on, man? Nothing. Dude, you're falling asleep at work. I'm not falling asleep at work. We got it on tape. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you looped that tape for 30 fucking different times, obviously. No, no, no. From yeah. last Thursday when Richard got, got you with the horn. Yeah, okay. So I was resting my eyes a little bit, okay? I wasn't sleeping. And then you're grabbing chicks at Will's wedding. No, I wasn't grabbing chicks at Will's wedding. Look at the tape, okay? She fell into your arms? It was a mutual thing. She wanted to be in the picture with all the guys. Okay, go look at the tape. All right? And then you go Don't to Don't make something out of nothing there. Go ahead. Then you go to this stripper award show. Yeah. And you start saying... Exotic Dancer Awards. You start saying our show. Yeah, our show. Okay, yeah. Like I meant it was my show. Come on, huh? It's with you, man. I don't know. What's with me? I mean, everybody else does shit around here you wouldn't believe, but I, I'm the one who gets fucking yelled at for everything. I mean, I know certain people that piss in the street when they're with the big celebrity person here, and that's fine. That's okay. That's Ralph. okay. Now, I'm not saying who. And there's other people who mention our show, my show, this show, we. There's plenty of guys that do it. Plenty of people here that do that stuff. Not only me. So why are you the only one that gets nailed for it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'm just a low piece of shit on the totem pole. That's why. 